next time. No matter what. You guys keep asking me leading questions. All right, so today's lesson is called the Stone Buddha. So who knows what the Stone Buddha is? Those little things you buy in the novelty shop. No. <laughs> but maybe. <laughs> but not for today. Do we have rewards for really stupid answers? All right, we're done with stupid answers. Here we go. Nickname for some Nine Don guy? Yeah, nickname for some Nine Don guy. The, the Nine Don guy in question, his name is Li Cheng Ho. Uh, you should know Li Cheng Ho because for a period of over 10 years, he was basically the best player in the world. And earlier on in his, his career, when he was very young, like he, really, he really started, he's, he's uh, 39 years old today, I guess. Um, but when he was very young as a kid, he, he got the name of uh, the Stone Buddha because he would sit there very unemotionless like this during these games. Like you'd have like this, this you know, adolescent teenage kid <laughs> just completely unfazed by everything. And so they called him like the Stone Buddha just because he was so... You get it. Cool. Um, so, you know, he starting around 1992, he started winning international titles, and by 1995, he was basically the best player in the world. And that continued really up until the early 2000s, where um, a few people, a few, a few, this sort of this next generation, the two that early two, in the early 2000s of, of Chinese and Korean pros, became really, really aggressive in their own styles, and he started losing, which was really weird. You know, have like this this super calm person, you know, just just you know the stone Buddha, right? Sort of mentality. Start losing to like these hyper hyper aggressive uh, players, and the reason isn't really because he would necessarily get like emotionally phased by it per se, um, but there's a different reason. I think we're going to look at one of his games. Um, I, th I think I think in his style in the game, which is also very distinct, and one of the other reasons why he's called the stone Buddha you might be able to see why hyper, hyper aggressive players um, will actually sort of be his arch, natural arch nemesis. So, again, this is Li Chang Ho, Nine Don Pro, again, still, you know, still, you know, one of the best players in the world, though. Um, you know, really, you know, we can't say he's the best player in the world, really, unless we go back in time, maybe about 10 years. So, I want to see a game? Yeah. Yes. All right, so this is, this is I, I, I even want to kind of say, like, I might have even shown a couple of you guys this before. I can't remember if I did it on camera or not, but um, this is the game that Lee Chang-ho, like, won his first international title with. This is the, I think it's, I think it's game five of, uh, of this, you know, big international cup game against Rin Kai-ho, who's a, who's a, you know, famous Japanese pro. Um, and this is right around the time when Japan was still sort of really, really good. At, I mean, at this time, Japan still was really, really good at Go. Um, but China was rapidly catching up, and, they, and during this time period, um, you know, Lee, uh, Lee Chang Ho is from Korea, but um, we saw Chinese go and Korean go start to flourish, right? And, and part of it had to do with like the Chinese opening that was developed in the '80s. So you can go read like the history of like you know these sort of like set fuseki that would let these these other countries basically compete with Japan. But anyway, that's not really the case for the here. Here's the game. Uh, in this game, Li Cheng Ho is white. He's also considered to be one of the strongest players with white ever, just because of his personal style. And, you know, he, he basically wins all of his games by either a half a point or a point and a half. I'll just tell you that right now. Like, like that's, like, his thing, is winning these incredibly close games. I'm amazed that he can even anticipate a half a point. <laughs> So here's your opening. Anything strange about the opening? No. <laughs> Good. Expect to move there. Why would we expect to move there? This is a natural move. If you just think that the white position is the white low position is different than the black low position, is it not? It is, right? You have four four with a three yeah. four on yeah. this side and a four four. This is like making a Chinese style. Yeah. And this would aim to make like a like a, what we now call a mini Chinese style. Although that really wasn't a thing in 1992. Um, the reason why White plays this at this time is because again the Chinese opening was so popular that when Black plays this, this is this isn't the game, but this is sort of like the natural continuation for this type of game. There were a lot of games that were played out like this, where Black, where you know you had all these Chinese players in the 80s who just started playing. This is their opening. Like this is their opening. This is what they do. So that was a possible anticipation. And then, and then yes, yeah, so you make the shamari here to sort of reduce this while at the same time building yourself, is the, is the theory. 
that's not our game. Rin, Rin Kaihogen, he's Japanese. He's more interested in playing, an, playing a, a basically the best opening he can, um, where everything's in balance. He's not going to rely on these stock shapes as much. So he's going to play his active, which you know hopefully grows the influence of all three of his stones. And uh, Li Chang Ho goes here. So what is Li Chang Ho saying with this type of move? Mm. I think it says something else. If you're going to share my corner, I'm going to share your corner. Yes, it's, 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 it's basically looking to make the game into a territorial game, right? Li Chang Ho does not want to play a Moyo versus Moyo game. He has no interest in this whatsoever. This is totally not his style. So he just wants to break everything up as calmly, as peacefully as possible. And, uh, and th this, this game was in um, um, Yuan, uh, Yuan Zhou's uh, book, uh, I think, uh, Masters of Play, what is it called? Master, Master Place? I think the Master Play series. And the phrase that, that uh, Yuan uses to describe Li Chang Ho is he gives his opponents respect. You know, he's not, he's like, like you're going to see in the next really 20 moves or so where Li Chang Ho says, oh, you want that? You can have that. And if you want that, I just want to make sure you can't get this bigger thing. Okay, but you can have this, and you can have this little bit, and you can have this little bit. You, like, you can have everything, every little thing you want. He's like sharing. It's like, he's all about sharing. Yeah, sure, if you want to think of it that way. <laughs> so you can think of the reason why I want step one line lower. Here? Yeah, or, or. Yeah, so the problem with this is this might not be peaceful. This might lead to complications very easily. Right, especially let's say black builds here and gets a stone here. Now a pincer here would have white running into black uh, influence or black build territory very easily and doesn't want that, just wants to avoid any sort of pincer variation, try to keep it simple. Um, earlier on in his career, Li Chang Ho, he's sort of quoted as saying things like, uh, he doesn't study the opening. You know, the opening is a mystery. No one knows what they're doing, so don't waste your time. Uh, study the middle game and the end game. And almost in every one of these games where he wins, he's losing the entire game, <laughs> right? He comes back right at the very end to just win by a half point. Maybe he wasn't really losing. Well, that's the thing about Go. If everyone who looked at the board would say, you know, White is losing by about 10 points. There's no way for him to catch up. <laughs> Didn't you say he was once the best player in the world? Yeah. But he looked like he's losing all the time. Like he would give every opponent everything they wanted. Anyway, black is happy to take points. White immediately plays here. This is almost, I'll say boring, but I think that's very okay. simple, right? You want your corner? That's fine. I'll take my base. Yeah. You get your little bit, I get my little bit. We're all happy, right? Mm, okay. As who? As white or as black? Uh, yeah, as black, I feel like he's pushing me around. Wait, you, as black? You play his game. As black, you feel like White's pushing you around? Yeah, he, well, he wants me to do this, this nitty stuff. I'm not sure what I'm playing. I think, I think I'd be pretty happy here as black. Like, this is not a, this is not, like, a thing you want to try to, you don't want to make two yeah, stone extensions in the opening. The, I can't remember There's the, no the good piece, but. Yeah, now I'm really happy as black. Yeah, like, black, black, black got to play two moves down here before White got to play, uh, defend his corner. You already have a corner, and you still have these corners are even. Why well, just has this little two space extension? I mean, this is not a shape, like this is a shape you make when you have to break something up. Yeah. But to make this with like your third and fourth stone of the game, this is not something you want to do in your games usually, right? You want to build something bigger. You want to think larger. So white again just sort of plays the most basic way. White knows how, and they play out this joseki. Again, White even completes it. This is like a super proper Joseki. Right. Except. Except what? White. White doesn't have a great move now. Why not? Black plays here. What's yeah. wrong with that? It's just not great. <laughs> How is it not great? Okay. Look, you have well, two four fours. Well, You're getting to play this side first. This okay. is the complete virgin, undeveloped territory. Black gets the first move, the most active move on the side, right? Approaching the corner. Yeah, that's great. 
Yeah, but White is very happy to, to like make a small knight, a, a, a knight's move from there. I mean, he may well be very happy. Is that what he did? That's exactly that's the game. Well, I think he, he might well be very happy. Okay. Well, Black's going to say, can I have a little <laughs> Black comes back okay, like this. So, so, so it doesn't really look like black has very much, and white has Comey. Um, well, well, white has oh. they can go in on black's three three point. White has a lot here. Okay. Well, if if we think of this as black's development, it's his development, but it's not we his think cash. Of, okay. We think of this as white's development. Sure. And we say, let's say those two are about even. This this development's bigger, even though it's more open. This corner or is more points ready. If we treat these as even, yeah. we look at these two. I'm not sure I really want to treat them. Well, look how open this is. This is this. This is more open here this, than this. This is a this is a three point in extension. Yeah, there there is invade. It's a development. There, it's not terrible. All sorts of okay. White's got got more action. Way <laughs> more action there. And it's his move, and it's got Comey. Okay, let's just see what happens. Okay, well, I agree, Dan. Let's see what happens. Seems like a bit of a I mean, stretch. It's far, it's far away, but uh, at the same time, you know, are you, this, this is a tough fight for black. You know, you don't really want to come in here and fight because white will then jump up and get counterattacked. Yeah. So even though it's far away, it's not like black has a really good invasion in here yet either. So black plays a requisite move to make a development across the top. And white asks if he can come in, to which black says, no, that's, that's mine. And white makes his real second development. So really what we have here, we have two developments. We have, uh, we have two developments for each player, right? We have a white development over here and over here. We have a black development over here and over here. So this is like super simple, like peaceful go, right? Something for you, something for me, something for you. Yeah, this is, this is, this is like the most benign game ever. Like, you all can understand this. All, you know, everyone in here, no matter what your level, can kind of like go, okay, you know, this is looking kind of even. But Black did manage to keep Sente. Let me make sure I know the move. Yeah, yeah. It is. Aha! It's the game here. has begun. The game has begun. I can say that many moves without starting a fight would drive me nuts if I were <laughs> <laughs> Well... I'm, I'm too aggressive. <laughs> well, most people, again, would criticize Li Chang Ho at this point for being passive. Not just even peaceful, but very passive. So... And... Oh, yeah, come in. So the, um, the white thing on the side that they just played with those three cylinders? Yeah. Is that okay with the... Um, oh, this is very nice. Yeah, this is very nice. Because um, it kind of looks over-concentrated to me. So. There, you know, it might be slightly better if we, we, can, we can play one further. But when you play one closer, it's actually way less of an it invasion. It looks good. Yeah, it's, it's nice. I, I it's think nice. it looks good. Uh, it looks certainly better than that. And White plays here. Normally, White would actually try to push up and split here and maybe start a fight. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. So Black says, okay, well, let me reduce Aha! this. I'll reduce some more. I didn't know. I didn't know pros played that move. Well, why not? It's a good I haven't move. seen this move in all Years. Well, when White's trying to develop this, that's a nice way to stop it. Yeah, how's White going to keep Black out of there? You can't. You yeah. can't. You can't. But, but that's... So ah. White tries to counterattack on a large scale. He's not counter Right? If we can lean on this... He's not a counterattack. Maybe we can get the thickness to come back over here and put some pressure on this, right? right. Make, if you want, you want to attack in the West, make noise well, in the also, East. Also, also... Also... Really, he's 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 trying to he's, he's trying to keep. Once White makes a pincer here, de denying him a base, he's he's trying to keep Black from hooking up. That's what I'm saying. Having, yeah, yeah. A ter having a moyo out of his flight. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, right. Prevent so this is like free stuff, and and he still has activities over there. Sure, but Black's also don't so, trip, Dan, don't trip. Black's gonna play right here. To try to minimize white from doing anything over here. So black fixes. If black doesn't fix, there's actually a lot of things white can do. White can sort of push and cut. Just cut directly. White can get more free moves. So we just do this. And Dan is also immediately already worried about this, even though he shouldn't. I like the 
I like better quite more than a duplicate. Okay. Shh. But I don't know who's the one. Okay. Shh. We're watching the game. Watching the game. So, White gets another move. And we do make this pincer. Alright, so tell me what's going on in the game. What do you think? Can everyone understand everything? If you were black, what would you do? If you were Rin Kai Ho? Jump out. Yeah, jump out. We have a group, it's under attack. And if this group ever gets strength, you know, we, we actually have invasion points in here that this might be really nothing for white over here. This might be like four points, and this might be end up being like eight points. Mm -hmm. well, so maybe this, you I know. I think in terms of like what you told us before about, like you got the short extensions, you got the long extensions, basically everything's got a base mm -hmm. in the isolated things. So the big territory left is the center. Yeah, they're, they're really thinking about the center. And not only is the center important for maybe some more development off of each of their sides, it's really important to the health of this group. Yeah, yeah. They so you got to play in the middle. We got to play in the middle. They could get cut off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so what do we play? What do we play, Black? Uh, the lower one point extension. Lower one point extension. I don't like this. Uh, sorry. Uh, the one jump. Um, and to the right. Yeah, right there. That's right. Okay, that's not bad. Go on three space. You want to know where Nine Don Pro plays? The other one. A little bit faster. Ah, I feel like it's just now. You feel easy? Was that your point, Gideon? Nice, nice. Because the other, the other thing that this move really does is it gives Black a really nice follow-up here. Because now, now what are we building in here? Moyo. Yeah, we can actually start to build a box of some sort, right? And start to build that Moyo. So, and our group's safe, and everybody's safe. So this one's a little more active. It has a better relationship with these stones. This one, this one I would say, if, if you wanted to emphasize putting pressure on over here, this is the better move. But if you're thinking more, if, if, if you're worried more about these center positions and these other invasions, this is a little bit more active, or, or has a better relationship between the bottom and the top. Just getting a little bit further out, a little bit faster. Okay, the next couple moves for White are uh, where the real action starts, right? This wasn't our real fight, right? This is really just Black saying, oh, I'm just gonna make sure you can't get anything really big, and I'm gonna develop the middle. At this point, Lee Chang Ho really starts the middle Ooh. game. Well, that's right. not really... Middle game starts with an invasion. That's the middle game. That's how we know for sure we've left that funny area between the opening and the middle game. We're yes. defiantly in the middle game. So, what is, what is the idea? What is White trying to do here? Is it trying to split up those two black? Groups? Well, of course, right? Black split up White. Yeah. So White wants to try to split up Black. What else? Yeah, we're trying to, so, so we, we don't want this to get really big, right? What else is it doing? Maybe let's white get a bigger shot at the middle. <laughs> if we wanted, if we, want, oh, if we no. cared about the middle, we would play here? Well, no, no, I, or I, think, I think depending on how the fighting goes at the bottom, you might end up running towards the center. Yeah, but that's not good for us. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, running yeah, a weak group towards the center usually isn't developing the middle. <laughs> Well, yeah, the only way you're going to get the middle is if you capture those stones there, those three stones. There. Yeah, if we attack this, this is the way to get the middle. You right? have to catch them, actually. Right. That's if, we, the if, we, if we played this, and we invited Black to play this, this would be helping develop the middle. Right, but he still wouldn't have much in the middle. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, well, yeah, but that's the type of move we'd be looking for. Right. So what is that doing down at the bottom? Well, that's my question to you. Yeah, and I'm not the back to you, Lance. <laughs> so it's not how this works, Gideon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I consider it doing research. Eventually threatening Black's group. Yes, left. which Black group? Uh, lower left. Yeah, this group. Aiming at the um, sticks. This group has a giant extension here. This is very invadable. And White could have even technically invaded here. Um, but it's also kind of complicated. It's like this is actually a pretty complicated in type of invasion. This, uh, well, we'll see what happens. Well, on this side, on this side, if Black decides to fix on the left, then White still has space. Right. If, right. if Black just fixes here, we now have a very simple invasion. Yeah. yeah. Right. There's no, there's no difficulties. But if Black comes in on that side, then we can make invasion, and the, the stone on the center line is already there. Yeah. So this is the game move. 
that's the game of market. Yeah, black, black doesn't want to give white an easy invasion, right? It's not interested in making these even peaceful exchanges anymore. So you're going to start some, you're stuck with it. That's right. Now most players at this point, if, they're, if, they, were, if they were still thinking about this group, they might come here directly. And this way we can, we're sort of attacking this, at the same time we're attacking this. And we might even be willing to give up this stone if it means we get to capture this. However, there are some variations here that are very complicated. Namely, the ones that start like this. This is a complicated variation. What would you do if you were white here? This is not the game, by the way. This is not the move that Lee Chang will play. People would stick my head up. Yeah, you try to fight here, right? Yeah. And black makes it more complicated. It just seems kind of suicidal right there. Well, is it? Because this group doesn't have any friends or a base. This group surely doesn't have any friends or a base. Well, he has that guy we have weakness, weak stone here, cut here, possible attachment here. There's at least like sort of like five locally independent, complex right. little mini but situations going on. His friend is over on the third line over there. It's not a friend. He does have a friend. Initial, he does have a friend. Initial invasion. You said I'm he saying, had no friends. I'm saying he's, it's complicated. Oh, but we also said he had no friends. No friends he can directly connect to, right? The direct connection doesn't work. Okay, because right, direct connection doesn't work. Yep. So well, in, that, in that case, there that that last white stone, if that last white stone just kind of comes right up on the third line, not the second. Hmm. This one? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. It's on the third. Oh, line. come here. You want more complicated? That's not helpful. <laughs> Well, now, now he helped yeah, black yeah, on the outside. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Lee Chang Ho doesn't play this. He comes with something that is basically of his own invention, something that's, you know, I don't see this move a whole lot often. I, call, I do have a name for it, though. That's interesting. I call this the armpit. You ready for the armpit? <laughs> <laughs> All right, because we have the shoulder. Yeah. Oh, we have the armpit. <laughs> so what is he trying to do here? He's trying to strengthen the stone on the right. Well, that's one option. Well, if, if Black tries to cut him off, he can run underneath instead of the stone. Right. Well, if he does it that way, then he's got a chance to come off. Right. Yeah, now, now we can play here, here, we can, we can play one of these other things, where the situation is actually very clear, right? White is, white is basically out and, and attacking this, even though this stone is now gravely injured, right? Because this, this exchange is really bad for this stone. But it's much clearer that white is just running out while we're attacking. So we're looking at something like this. Again, Li Chang-ho doesn't want to play the, the huge fighting variation, he just wants to play the very, very simple variation. Mm -hmm. Black plays this way. Why does black play this way? He doesn't want to be provoked into that. Uh, yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't want this thing to happen where he's just getting attacked, right? Mm -hmm. not, he's, black is not interested, so black will come on top. And just try to link up. White asks the question again, oh, can I split you, can I split you? He's giving black an opportunity to come back. You can go the same thing, right? So, Black doesn't want to do that again, because that's no. otherwise we wouldn't have played this one. So Black comes on top one more time. Li Cheng Ho asks one final time, Hey, can I come up again? This is mean. It's a little mean. And this is the final time where Black says no. Now we have to do Now it's a fight. Sort of. And so this, this is actually very, very similar to the other variation where white just comes here directly. Uh, except... Doesn't white just win this? White just wins, yeah. <laughs> it's basically white just wins, right? There's no really anything complicated. Yeah, so black... Because white can just have Atari. Well, wait, wait, look at the end result. Look at the end result. Look at the end result. Because the end result is not entirely clean for white. White needs to play here. Um, black gets that. And so, 
black doesn't respond locally again. Black just gives these up. So what did white get? Corner. Yeah, big corner now. Now, now what we had before was basically a very small corner with a possible little area for growth. Actually turned into a pretty sizable corner. Yeah, but it was always a pretty strong corner. It was always strong. It was never weak, right? Lee Chang-ho does not want to leave weaknesses, right? That's the other thing he's not interested in doing. He's not interested in playing a stone and tanuki. Right, right? that's Lee Sato. Right, but the strength of that corner wasn't much changed by whatever black got. Mm. So that's, that's okay. A, that's, well, all right, that's we'll, a defect. We'll, okay, well, let's talk about what black got. What did black get? Hosed. Oh, black got hosed? No, <laughs> black got something too. Black got some territory kind of on the right side. Well, um, well got, all of this. He got yeah, power. That outside this is great for black. He got yeah. power. And remember our group that could have been attacked before? Right. Black also has Sante. Right. How about we play here? It's good. Now, how do you ah, feel sorry. about so black? This is, this, is, this, is, this is interesting. This is how you play if you're strong. Absolutely. You don't just come back and capture that stupid white cutting stone in the middle. You just... You just That's right. You, yeah, the stone, this, the stone. If you're a strong player, this is how We're you play. We're just treating this as snacks for later. Yeah. Well, what, do you, what would you do, Nick? If it were your game, would you capture that stupid stone? I don't. I don't know, Dan. I don't know. I've already, I know this I'd game. I'd be inclined to I know, capture I, I, that stupid stone. The thing is, I've studied this game, so I would do this. Oh. <laughs> so I'm already biased. I can't ask, answer that question objectively. But do you see this giant thing that's starting to erupt? Yeah. That's a lot of potential. I know it has a lot of weaknesses still. But that's a lot of potential. So what would you do as white? You got some profit. We like profit. But what do you need to say to your opponent right now? You can't have all that. You can't have all that. How are we going to say that? Plunk right down the middle. Plunk down the middle? Where's the middle? I think about a line 10. 10, 10? You no, might. No, 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 no. no. I'm sorry. Always wrong. I'm to hit, but, but, but 11 or 12 down to 10. Go, go left. Go left one or two. Go left. I'm sorry, the other way, right? Yeah, I was going that left. One, that one line there. I, I think. I think about. I need mean, to start. Need to start counting at this point. I don't know how to do, but. Okay. I mean, you need to know well, how many points well, you got. Here, there's one other consideration you guys are not pointing out yet. We'd really like to find a way to start investigating ways to use right. these two stones. Why well, yeah. got the move? So. What about doing a two-point extension up from white? Yeah. Here? Yeah. That's or maybe just one below it. That's possible. Two point or, no, two point two point or one point? Something in there. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. This is the nine-down move. This is the, this is the move they played. Oh. This is Lee Chang-ho's move. Gideon is nine-down throw today. That's like, that's like two of you. That's two. A, yeah, that's Lucky fire. pieces. Well, you're nine-down pro. So, or, I mean, uh, let's go with that. All right. Perfect. <laughs> Black is going, really? You want to come in here? This is mine. It can't be his. It'll never be his. Unless white fights like too much. Peter, you have a problem? I, I thought that the one point jump from the black stone would have been good. So like Which, if, here? Yeah, right there. Ooh. The problem with this is that this doesn't really build a whole lot over here. Okay. And white will just continue to build strength in the center. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And now what do you have? You still have to come back and play another move here, otherwise all these points go away. Yeah. Still oh, also, also that, that one stone there. This the, one? The cutting stone, the original cutting stone. You can put, he can push now. Oh yeah, you can start doing all sorts of stuff. You can really push now. So black plays here. Cool. And once you push, that's still quite horrible thing. So this is, this is sort of asking the question of white now, right? Yeah, like, what are you going to do? Hey, you have two weak right. stones now. You know, just walk away for a moment. Yeah, yeah do you want to just give them up? Okay. Again, Lee Chang-ho isn't interested in leaving weak groups around the table. He's not interested in tanuking at this point. Yeah. So how do we give these stones shape? Pick a fight. <laughs> They're already it's sometimes fight. good. They're already going to fight. All right. I want, I, want, I want points on the board. I want only suggestions for things, well, points. Well, it seems like, seems like what those two white stones got to do is maybe run before the edge, you know? 
run to this edge or the, yeah, yeah the, go to their friends, right? Yeah, Find yeah, a way to yeah. get, gradually move towards their friends. They're not gonna get, they don't have a lot of scope right there by themselves, so they should uh, do what they can. All right, so how do we do? What resources do we have to get over there? We can push on that uh, kind of weak group in the lower corner. This one? Yeah. Nice, this is how nine don pro needs to think, mm -hmm. right? When I have stones in trouble, I need to ask myself, what resources do I have available? Where are the weaknesses in my opponent's shape? Where can I get my opponent to respond and essentially give me free stuff? Okay, so this is like, this is like to yeah. make them respond oh, from a corner. I was supposed yeah. to respond in a tech tree. That, was the, that was the first yeah. move I was looking at. Well, you're 9-down pro too today, I yeah? I haven't done it. I had to figure out whether it was good. Well, 9-down pro says yes. <laughs> So oh, Randy, coward. Oh, Randy Kaiho, right. this, this tries to give White as little more forcing moves as possible, right? This is what this move is saying. We are not helping you. You are on your own, White. I'm not going to do anything crazy like this, right? Because now all of a sudden, actually, this is a terrible idea for Black. Because White will get a million free stuff and just get shape and eyes and captures and all sorts of good stuff. So we're not interested in doing that. We're also not really interested in doing this, because that also gives this White more free stuff. We're also not really interested in doing this because that also gives white free stuff. Mm -hmm. So if we don't want to give your opponent free stuff, if we want to just say, you're on your own. Right. So, the, in fact, the move that you play, white play, is kind of, was kind of free. So you got that move from that. Yeah, now, now we actually have potential for an eye space. Right. We have a much stronger connection between these three stones. Right. And, and if we didn't make this exchange, there's a pretty nasty peep here. But after this exchange, that peep really doesn't feel so nasty. We can actually deal with it quite nicely. Plus, why you get just closer to that group on the And right. plus, yeah, we're really close to our friends now. Well, that lowermost uh, white stone is quite likely cut off, but white doesn't care. Just gonna this stone? Yeah, this stone's light. Yeah. If black really wants that, we can get some free stuff for it and then be on our way. It's like the lizard nope. lets go of its tail. That's right. Lizard lets go of its tail. Absolutely. All right. As black, what do we want to do now? You're nine don. You're from Japan. You've won multiple international tournaments. You have this little snotty brat nosed kid who just sits there like this. Grab the tail. <laughs> with this group here. Grab the tail. <laughs> Probably going to be a silly answer, but what about going, uh, go down 15? To just above the white stones there? No, keep going down. Keep going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right there. Right here. How about one more? That's pretty close. One Is more. it? It's pretty close to the right idea. Two more down. Colder. There. Right in the middle. This doesn't gain us anything, right? This just invites white to... I mean, maybe, maybe we can capture that stone. Or actually, white would probably just play there. Okay. And that, that's actually really good for white. Okay. We need to find an active move. We need to find a move that's going to effectively keep the pressure on, but also make a bunch of noise over here, right? Mm -hmm. When you want to attack in the east, you make noise in the west kind of thing. Right. Or in this case, want to attack in the west, so make noise in the east. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, like. Okay, so, so I know we did attacking a few weeks ago. Like... Black attack. Black attack, right? This is, this is, this is, you know, when, when you get to the next level of attacking, right? Lean on something that's already kind of strong to attack the weaker thing, right? Lean, so, lean so common. So well, common. I was thinking sort of like, something like that. But I was thinking, well, like uh, 14, would be 14, 8? Here? Oh, okay, right next to, yeah, yeah, somewhere in there. This is, this is good for your own development. Yeah. But it doesn't really put any real pressure on this. Yeah, but there's sort of a trade-off. I think once you be getting something, you might be willing to let White get away with something if you can get this bigger button. If this move wins you the game, right? Yeah. If you figure out that all you need to play is this move and this wins you the game, you play the move. Not a chance. <laughs> if, you, if, this, if a move like this doesn't win you the game, you need to find a move that does more than one thing. No, not a chance that I can figure it out. <laughs> oh, okay. But I see. You might think that, you know, either move okay. wins in the game. That's possible. It's possible. White draws back here. It went that way, though. It went that way. Now, this is solid. All right, sure. there's really no invasions here. There's no more Aji. Sure. So white protected over there. I guess, you know... Okay, it's a matter of tactics. Now, now, now we're in the room. We're in the room. Dan, remember your favorite move from down there? 
We're going to see it again. Really? Really. What's black trying to do now? I know this kind of that white could just crawl up and connect those, isn't he? Oh, well, white, that's what white does. Well, certainly, what, if white does this, where does black go? Cut. Cut one. Yeah, cut here or here. Maybe, maybe now we play the <laughs> Peter. Now that we have friends to support it. Yep. Already in place. But this is the game, and Black's saying, well, hey, if you're going to come up this way, guess what? There's still a cut here. And White says, I think I can connect. And Black says, well, you might be able to connect through here, but guess what I'm going to do if you do? Uh, <laughs> connecting eyeless stones to more eyeless stones does a group not make. Uh, yeah, but uh, the group that's cutting it off is not going to be so completely... Helpless? Too wide. Yeah. The, the, group that's the group cutting it off is... Got yeah, this, this group has its own issues. Depending on what. Yeah, it's got more okay. space and it's got room to run. Well, okay, so first, here's a go problem. White needs to find a move here. Because, like, we're not actually connected if you actually take two seconds to read this out. True. So how do we, what's the best move to get connected? Seems like uh, right along uh, 16 there. Here? Take care of that connection. Right here? But, yeah, maybe there. I don't know. Oh, it's probably bad. Do you have any of the higher I can't point? read anything from here. Yeah. Just maybe connect maybe move. Maybe so one might about that solid connection. This would connect. It does put a lot of pressure on this cut. But it actually still has a shape problem. Yeah. Between these two. And black always has this Atari now which also makes white shape look like stupid as an empty triangle. Li Cheng Ho plays this one. Which is actually pretty cool, because this totally connects to this. And you might say, hey, but there's a cut here. Doesn't care. But doesn't care. If, there's a, if, if black plays here, white can Atari, cut, cut. There's, there's all sorts of damage going to be done to black. So black can't cut. Pretty cool. So Black actually takes the time to fix one of those cuts right now to try to make this cut set uh, work again. All right, because once we have the stick of stones now, Black in theory could play here, and if White Atari's, we can connect and then we can capture this cut cutting stone. So Black just connects and keeps the pressure on White. Okay, so if Black doesn't connect there, but um. You were saying earlier that black can always cut off those white stones? Well, uh, before these... Oh, no, the, the most recent black movie played... Yes, here, black can always cut here right now. No, no, um, oh. but before, you just had black play um, a certain defensive move down there. Yeah. What if black just separates the white stones, like... Like here? Not? No, no, um, 17... Oh, higher up, yeah. 12, I think. 12, here? Or 13. Is, uh, 17, 13. This one? Yeah. Yeah, there's a problem. Yeah. I'm not sure what, let's say just white cuts on this side. Okay. White gets these. And now white's safe. Mm. It's possible, it's possible. But black doesn't want to make white safe, right? The whole idea of this is to keep black under attack. So if black wanted to settle the situation easily, then yes, do that. But black doesn't, white has a weak group that's under attack. We don't want to do that. But it is white's move. You've given black an extra Did I? Where is this? The one I suggested. The one you suggested. Thank you. So now white plays here. What is white trying to do? Take advantage of that weak group. Yeah, now, hey, if, you're, if you have a cut, if you can cut me off, it might lead to your death. So this is an active way to essentially buy time to protect against this cut. The black plays here now, definitely cutting it off, right? And now making this cut like a serious thing. Because now even if white surrounds, now black really profits. That's not the game. The game... 
This is, uh, I'm going to say, probably one of my first, of like maybe there's like three sequence in this, sequences in this game that I really like, or at least, play, at least three sequences by Lee Chang Ho that I really like. This is the first one. White plays here. What do you guys, what's your instinct? What's your feeling about this move? It's still awkward. It's like a good move. The <laughs> Why does it doesn't look like a good move? It does! Of course. Of course. Why? Because black does splits. It's a really good move. Black just splits. Yeah, but black, 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 but now I can't cut, right? Oh, we can oh, cut. Oh, maybe we can cut. Still can cut. Maybe not. Still, still cut. Well, in my cue this, I would say this is a good time for white to connect. And then, yeah. Connect here? Yeah. My goodness. Yeah, that's pretty cute. Because you connect there, then black will probably play something in this area and continue the attack while getting his group out. Well, this gives, this gives you a, a bit of fight up there. No. Well, but, but again, if black is saving his weak group while, while continuing the attack on white, this is fine for black. Well, I, I thought white could still cut him off. I mean, if black does that, then white plays on the dark point. Yeah? I get Atari. Oh, no. Mm, no. This is counter Atari. Oh, I see. Okay, never mind. Okay. <laughs> oh, good question. All right, so here, let's go back to here. The reason why I like this whole sequence for white, because white finds this move. Mm -hmm. Do we need to remove some of these tools? No. That is a good move. That is the game. Well, right, because we just played That's this. That's a really good move. Yeah. This is a cool move. Why is this move cool, Dan? Because if he cuts, White will live over there without. White can either live. Right. And without or having reduced his liberties sufficiently to be dominant and mind over there. To have a dominance and mind problem with the black cut. Yeah, or white. Right. Just and then move it. Then it just lose. Right. If he plays that way, he'll just lose the game immediately. But even if he plays this way, white will just win without without forcing black to, to fill that liberty. What if black cuts here? Well, then then white just connects. No. No. <laughs> no. This is the beautiful thing about this move. This is why this move is so cool. What is this move asking black to do? Saying black, please cut it off, right? Sure. Okay, now can black come back and cut this off? Oh, you're right, he can. He can. That's the cool thing about this move. Hmm. Check it out. All right, you think, okay, we've killed this with white stone, now we can come back and cut. No, no, no. White can just, sorry and then come up from this stone and still eat that. Now all that other stuff doesn't matter. That's cool. And black is looking awful. And later on, later on, right, because we know black can't cut here directly, we might be able to either just live in the corner or actually white can counterattack this thing. We just have a stick of stones here. Can you imagine if white were to get moves here and here? Like, where are black's eyes coming from? Mm. So, all right, so let's counter cool. Well, now black comes back here. Really? Yeah, because black is, black is actually really worried of, of this group now. He knows he needs to strengthen it. Well, then he's lost. Then he's lost? Why? He's, he's profiting, though, while he's fixing it. <laughs> and meanwhile, white has to come back and fix it. Oh, big deal. What a big deal. White wants to keep. He didn't just fix. He made things, made that stuff super solid. While those stupid, look at blacks. This. Well, but this doesn't work now, right? There's, there's no other oh, use. Wait. Cut is still weird. doesn't work. Black cut, cut still doesn't work. And those stones are bad. And white's got. White's still got the profit. They started, he started that huge corner on the low left that he started with when all this fighting. I'm saying, yeah. Black can link up under here now. Yeah, but, but, 
But black needed to do something terrible to white. Why? Because black, white had a, had, a, had a huge starting advantage uh, monetarily. Wait, well, I, don't, I don't think anyone agreed with that statement, Dan. No? Is no. that huge corner? This, the, this, there's a lot of algae in this corner. Yeah. This, 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 this is not a huge corner. That started out with I mean, it's a, it's a substantial corner, right? In theory, black should get this end game point. That's right. And also force white to come back to these two end game points and then take this stone off. Sure. Right? So we're really looking at only from here over as points. So it's really just this corner, yeah. right? 8, yeah. 14, 16, 18. Right. Maybe even 20 points. Right, but, 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 but the, the white position on the, on, the, on the upper right has already been strengthened. So not only strengthened, but... It, but, but okay, but wait, it's Black's move. <laughs> Alright, Black has Sunday. Yeah, John? Pick up Black Stone for the white one back. Yeah. Thank you. There you go. Good, sir. At this moment, Black has a problem, right? So come up. So black is, uh, wouldn't black just love to be able to come on top of here and just build this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. White doesn't want that, so white plays here. Oh, there's actually a little more than those. There's still some stuff going on here. There's still a lot of stuff going on here, man. I mean, I mean it's still kind of a two-way battle. After I black jumps out? Extension looks like it. Ah, cash. Mm. He took cash. Yes. And now there's potential for, for this Aji to become really important again, right? Because now that this is connected, white can upset this group by cutting the stone. So now black comes back and clamps down on that stone. Okay. So exchange for this. Right? White got into black's corner for giving up the one stone he was going to give a ball. Yeah, but now white's. Is he alive? Is he alive? Is he alive? The short answer is sort of. He looks alive? <laughs> this is a really delicate reading. He looks alive? Kind of alive. The problem, alive. The problem for white is this move. This is, this is the most damaging move for white. The white has to be careful with. Right. That is? Yes. yes. White, white can't, black can't cut directly, right? Because it's yeah. just push capture. Oh, okay. You can't cut this way either because that just helps white fix. Okay. But this threatens to cut and pop out the eye space down here. Mm -hmm. I see it now. So this is the move that white has to be careful of. So if, if black had this thing completely surrounded, yeah, white's in big trouble. But he doesn't yet, so what keeps playing here? Uh -oh. And keeps threatening this thing. Wow. Yeah, well, white can, I mean, look, this, this group this isn't safe either. Than I, than I, I thought. <laughs> well, at some point, Dan, you're going to be eventually convinced that black's actually winning. Oh. Oh, because he won. Black fixes. I don't know. White pokes at the shape. It doesn't do a lot except just ruin everybody's shape. Just do the poke, yeah. Oh. Yeah. White fixes this shape again down here. And black has to come back and play this really ugly move. Yeah. And then white's still kind of worried about this. So he tries to keep the attack going on this while reducing. Now the black group is out. So, white actually comes back to this problem at this yes. point. Well, yeah, right now that, that, now that black got army. these stones, this white group really needs to live here. It needs another army. So oh, white plays here. Chicken. It's, that's a Lee Chang Ho move, man. Yeah, it's a super simple. Well, we hope. Could have played that. <laughs> <laughs> So then black would have to connect after that, wouldn't it? Black does connect. Yeah, he doesn't now, have to, but it's, can't, it's helpful. Can't, can't. And now white comes back and plays here. Wait, is that really a line now? Yep. Yes. Whoa. There's tons of space. There's tons of space? Oh, they don't know about the code. They don't know about the code, though. There's still this little code They don't thing. know about the code. Yeah. There's a way to make this into a... Something of a co. Yeah. What kind of co is it? As as somebody. But the thing the said. thing is, I don't I don't I think white has too many threats and can potentially get another eye here. Right. And white is guaranteed one eye here. Right. There's no way white for white to lose a, lose at least one eye. Can you actually make two eyes? 
if white's given sente. So that's that's not good for black there. Well, no, 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 it's not. Yeah, except that he's if he's going for the whole group. Yeah, if if black was stronger, <laughs> yeah, there there are some desperate maneuvers. Yeah, <laughs> but he'd have to be stronger here and maybe even here. Okay, and have to have a lot of co-friends. Could be a good end. So good end. So here, let's let's try to actually count the score a little bit because the next move is really important. It is Black's move, right? Black to Gote. Let's add up White's score first. I told you this was about 20 points altogether. If we look over here, we're looking at two, four, six, eight, maybe 10 more. We'll say 10-ish, so 30. This isn't anything, right? Black has the jump on reducing, reducing over here. It should be Black Sente. So we're really looking at one, two, three, yeah, I'm not four. Sure that's Black Sente. It should be in the end game. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll Black doesn't get it, but it, but I mean it should be. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. So anyway, this this is a wash in here, right? This is very hard to predict exactly how many each player will get. So we're looking at really what, what did I say? One, two, three, four, five, maybe six pairs of territory for white. It's about twelve points. So that's forty-two, and maybe five more, maybe. So we're looking at a, a score about, let's say, 47-ish plus and Comey for white. And Comey. And Comey, yeah. So low 50s for white. It's pretty, it's pretty optimistic. Let's see what black has. Um, this should be black's endgame. Again, it's kind of a wash. But we don't, we'll, 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 we'll see. Um, if we don't count that, though, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight-ish pairs. So for about 16. This, we don't know, but it could be worth another maybe two more. Let's just say up to 18. And if we look at this whole side, we're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 ish. So 34 more pairs, or 34 more points, 17 pairs. What I just had before that. 17. What did I say? You guys. <laughs> guys. No, we're supposed to be looking and listening at the same time. I know. What did I just say for this? Oh, man. This is 34-ish plus... 34 plus 18 is like 52? Yeah, but you're counting in different systems. I mean, you're counting relatives, and then you're counting... Okay. All right. So, well, I'm trying to give you a pretty good estimate. Yeah, yeah. All right. I think I said... Did I say 18 down here? 17? I think, yeah, I did. But... Okay. So we're looking at like a one point game after Comey, except whose move is it? Black. I'm holding the stone. Yeah. <laughs> so like assuming that we can find a move that's worth at least two points, we can say that black is kind of winning. Can we find a move that's at least so two points? When you do that calculation, like, the thing at the bottom, sure. why do you say that should be blacks? Like, Over here? Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's purely gote for white. I mean, it's it's really anybody's, right? But black, this this is better. Like like this is white to defend. Okay. So black has the Aji. It's I mean, it, 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 mathematically, it's anyone's. You know, it, it's it's anyone's. I mean, it's not gotay for black to capture that stone. It is, but watch the follow. -up. So let's say black just captures the stone, the simplest sequence. So white. So if white doesn't do anything, uh, we start to have things like this, or possibly even this. Yeah. Right? So, you know it's a really big move. That's all I'm saying. I'm not, I'm like, not, like, like, white has to find time to play there? I think you were unfair to play. I think you gave black too much. Well, here's the other thing. I, the top. I didn't give black anything in here. Okay. I'm assuming black gets nothing in here. Okay. Okay? That's... that's... And my trade-off for that, my justification for not giving black anything in here, I didn't give white any of these six points over here. Yeah, yeah, but you gave black a lot of money up on the top. I did, but you gave him, you gave him thirty-four points. This is a hard, this is hard to debate. Didn't look at white's, you know. Okay, here we go. I'm showing you the move. Black I'm plays giving, here. I'm giving maybe thirty. Okay. So, still black plays here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> this is one of the biggest endgame moves on the board. It is the biggest. 
but obviously the biggest. I was, I was wondering, I looked at that, but then I was wondering, yeah. I was trying to see if maybe there was something better left to center going after those those points. That, that yeah, but, here, but here's, here's, the nice, here's the nice thing about this movie. Once black has secured a base for this stone, mm -hmm. basically if white ever tries some in type of invasion, that stone is dead. Right? Yeah. This area is too strong. This is, this is going to die. So white can't ever really think about playing in here now. The other thing that this move does really well is it gives black follow-ups to reduce this. Yeah. White comes back in place here. Yeah? And now, once you've done this, and white's guarded this, black does indeed come back and take fifth line territory. And remember, my estimate, I only gave black fourth line territory. White makes this exchange to again just help prevent some of the other additional point loss that might happen here when black pokes at these shapes. And white comes back and takes this. So you do get that. It does get that. So they trade. This is this is an even trade. So basically you give white that move. Huh? Why did you give white that move? You didn't give the uh, you didn't give white the points for that move. And but I didn't give black the points for this move. Yes, you did. No, 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 no. I only counted to here. I was counting fourth line up to here. So I didn't give black these, it's not, I mean, it's not the most important thing, but I didn't give black this corner, and I didn't give white that corner. That's it. what happened. And for the most part, that's pretty even, right? The shape is the same. You know, what I'm wondering is why did white take that 11-5-4? Why didn't he take that one? Since black was going to... I don't know, but black I'm going to keep, keep going because we've got some exciting things i got to get to. Okay. okay. Black plays here. That's uh, well, so. cool. What is black trying to do? Cut. Cut here and or here. Yeah. yeah. Right. Choice. And here's the really cool part. Remember how I gave black two points for this whole area? Black is actually threatening to make that much much larger. Right. I know. white place here, right? We don't want to lose these two either. This is, if black gets through here, this is also big. Uh, I think he pushes in. Oh, but white doesn't cut yet. Well, white just leaves it. Well, now white comes after these. He said, okay, you're going to poke through my shape, I'm going to poke through your shape. So this really doesn't work that well for white. So the first thing black does is actually snooze. Mm. He's like, this is actually bigger than you know, this. my shape. Defend. Uh, but now black comes back. I don't remember. I think I think this is actually just time to try to read out this this stuff. I think I think this is time suit you. And at this moment, white. And this whole sequence, like, there's actually. I think a lot of white thinking going on here. White actually still has time in his clock at this point. I think black is in bio yummy. So you'll see, you'll see occasionally like a, a, a time suji for black. Mm -hmm. But white has some pretty interesting plans because it looks like white is just helping black turn this more and more into territory. So actually, three or four, just um, this sort of area down there that with those two white stones that uh, look fairly captured. Which, where were we? The, the two white stones that looks kind of looks like I can capture them now in the middle. Oh, please, yeah. 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 I mean, is that at this point reasonably solid black territory? Or? Not yet, not yet, but it's so getting it there. what you mean. It's getting there. White cuts yes. to attempt to kill this, yes. Except black has, why are all the good stones in that tray? Oh, I should do this. I should do this. Aha! Now all the good stones are on this side. It's beautiful. Uh, black's going to save this. However. Uh, and now here's here's the answer, or the start of the answer to your question, Momo. And this is probably the, uh, I'll, I'll, I don't want to say the turning point per se, but one of the most interesting parts of the game for sure. Because now what it plays this move. 
And this sets up a pretty huge, long, oh, no. terrible sequence. Because at this point, you just think, oh, white will draw back. A white plays here. Really. And this is where the true strength of Li Chang Ho uh, this is, this is what we think. comes out. Hmm? This is what we would think, expect, maybe. Well, I don't know. This is, this is, this is a crazy looking move to play. Not crazy. Well, black just fixes here. Not her. crazy at all. Yeah, yeah. Why doesn't black cut? Uh, this way? Yeah. Oh, there is a problem. Is, uh, that's the end of the loop. Uh, do you take Yeah, take Oh, is that, uh, did I do this right? No, Atari. Oh, no, that works. No, oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, why didn't white black cut? Uh, hold on. Well, oh, Now you're Atari. Now, 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 white. Now, white plays this Atari. There we go. Right? No, that still doesn't work. Hmm. Why no. didn't black cut right now? No, no, no. Let him take. Let him take. Let him take. Yeah, where do you play? Atari on top. Here? No, on top. I mean, the other one. Yeah, that one doesn't work. You just take this. Oh, am I spacing? Yeah, me I too. Space. I space on it too. I have space. Yeah, because it doesn't work. Oh. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's madness. There. <laughs> we'll back it up. So if white just plays this, black, black still needs to fix here. There's oh wait a minute, those black stones are cut off. These are cut. Yes. These are cut off, right? Yes. So, but I'm trying to figure out how to cut use off. it. Yeah. Because these are in danger too, right? Who cares about those? Now? Well, it's it's very hard to protect everything. Well, but all right. But these are these are the thing that White's trying to fight here for. I'm just not sure how White gets this stone to safety. Sure. So something something to deal with this group. Yeah. Well, if White just comes out to the left. And, and we can also make the argument that uh, Rin Kaiho thinks he's winning at this point. Yeah. So he doesn't really need to endanger a group. But white connects here. And black comes out. And white keeps coming out, even though black can still come back and cut this off. Right, they're still sort of racing forward as Weiss trying to get some sort of attack yeah, against this Yeah, but I, I don't think... Well, why does Black think he's winning? Because uh, he has this now. And he got fifth line over here. Oh, okay. Did he say and he's he got this. Uh, after, after the game, I think the quote is, he's not really sure why he needed this. He had enough points to just play normal and win. Mm -hmm. So he regretted like trying to chase this. Mm -hmm. But he could have just played more simply. And now uh, black has moves over here. And so I think black's thinking, as soon as black gets stronger over here, yeah. black can come back and now cut that whole thing off. Yep. That's the plan. You gotta close this gate patch. I see. The white plays here. Again, black's just happy. If, if black just makes everything strong, we come back, we cut off, we win by a lot. Just plays there. White black takes another sente move. Mm -hmm. And white just responds. Really? Really. Mm -hmm. And now black just comes back here and says I win the game. No, you don't win the game. <laughs> no, you don't win the game. No. Well, look how big this is. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. That's that's game over. Uh White, White can capture these two stones. Yeah, but that doesn't save that group up above, though. Uh, which group? This group? The, down a little bit, that L shape in the middle of the board. The black one? The, the white one, sorry. Oh, this one? Yeah. Yeah, that capturing, capturing these two stones does not save this. So what? 
Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, what's going on here? Wait a minute. I think at some point that white stone comes right. That white stone the comes into play. The one that looks like the soak and right cut now. off and surrounded. Which white stone? The the one down from the center. This one? Yeah. Yeah, that one looks important. Not as important as another one. Because guess what? The game's not actually over yet. Oh, right. Now those, those stones stone. are in trouble. The other Which stones? Oh, those stones, those black, the cutting off stones over there. Yeah, no, not yeah. those. Keep going. Those. If you try to kill my stones, you're in trouble. Yes. This is, this is the shenanigans. Yes. Get your brooms. <clears throat> All right. If black just connects here, <clears throat> the game really would be over. This is not the game. But black actually can't connect against this peep. See, that, that, that was, I haven't figured that out. I haven't figured that out. All right, well, let's, if, when black connects, what does white play? It looks like maybe he'd have to tie those two white stones together. No, no, cut first. White, cut cut first. Cut. This would capture these two. <coughs> which would resuscitate right. these oh, okay. uh, yeah, and then yeah, threaten right. to kill this whole thing. Timing, timing. right, right. So that, that makes a threat that black has to respond to. Right, and if black responds, now we fix these. Now he fixes it, yeah. And now those are dead. So that's right, he had to fix it, but he didn't have to fix it this move. <laughs> <laughs> so here, let's go back. So instead in the game... He tries to capture those two. Uh, oh, no. Black plays time suji, basically. Oh, it's also a good shape move. Sure. You know, and waits, yeah, lets his minute go by, and then plays another time suji. This, this is good timing! He's, yeah, he's getting, to, getting time for the thing. Alright, that's, that's, that's just profit. <laughs> and then Black has to come back here. Ooh, ouch. Well, this is a good time. So Black can keep those captured. This is a good time to pull back. And now white pokes here, yes. and then black plays here, and now black has captured these once again. Although white's going to ask, do you really want those? <laughs> and black, of course, says, yes, I really want those. Is that a time CG? No, no, this is, this is, this is uh, legitimate. Oh, he takes two points. Yeah, except he doesn't do it right now. He just saved that for later. All right, so now we're back to endgame. So now, yeah, but... this is no longer black territory. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like none of this, basically, because yeah. white can capture here and white has these captured. Got this is, though, this is, this is, you know, a significant amount of points, at least 10 points for, for black. He's, he's put there is a lot of Aji. But... Yeah, but, it's, but it was nobody. I didn't get, yeah. I mean, we, when we scored it earlier, we didn't give it to anyone. Yeah. So black still made 10 points in here. Yeah, but white's going to get a ton on, ton on the left. He yeah. gets real. He gets that move. Yeah, this the is the next he move. Got the whole, I mean, forget it. That's a Black has to connect. That's a All right. And now, and now, here's the question: What is the move for White to make this whole left into points? This is a good shape problem. Everybody, he doesn't doesn't matter. Uh, isn't this game resigned right now? Up one, right there. Nope. No. Hasn't hasn't Black. No. No, it's, it's Is still Black not playing off of this? I'm just an eight down throw. <sighs> Different <laughs> skill levels are here, Dan. Give other people a chance. Okay, good. So what's the shape move to make this left side into points? Does this do it? Definitely not, right? No. How about this one? No, oh, Black pokes through this way. How about this one? Uh, oh, this one. Does that work? No, you know, you oh, get the whole side if you place that one. No, it's Co. Uh, I'm busy. Why was it not Co? Well, what, are you going to come that way? You want to come that way. That's Co. Yeah, okay. Okay. There. All right now, if black comes there, white can just cut off. 
black comes there, white's connected both sides. So both players are looking at this move as being, so they're, they're, they're both sort of fighting over who gets that move. So they're trying to play all the sente moves before that. Right, that's, that's the big move. So white plays over here first to, again, reduce and connect, or try to connect at least. Black takes this sente move, otherwise captures those. Let's look at that again. Uh, Atari. Yeah. yeah, I understand that. Good. But, but wait a minute. Let's I need. look at that, that, the rest of that. This is too many points. Against the, all those stones? Those black stuff in the middle? This, this is safe right now. No, not those stones. Are there any centes up there? These, these. Over on the left. That, Here? the rest of that group. Obviating that, uh, no. I don't know what group we're talking about. Sente moves against... Against these? Against, against those, those guys there. Those I'm pointing at them. Those guys where? This? Go down. This. Oh, this is a number. Then you don't need that move. Uh, then that if, it doesn't if, matter. If we try to push, then we just surround yeah, this. Yeah, but you just need a sente. Okay. You, need a count, you want to get a counter sente before, well, black before here. coming back. Oh, and then white plays here. Because again, this 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 is actually if white gets this, this is a guaranteed eye here, and now this is completely un unassailable, right? Mm -hmm. But once black actually gets this, white can still be reduced quite a bit, actually. Yeah, like, this is actually very large. Doesn't have any eyes except the one the Yeah, I mean, needs to make eyes over here, right? Yeah. And then black is able to come back over here. <clears throat> White plays this move to try to rescue this stone. And at this point, this is my other one of my other favorite parts of the game, because black takes this. We actually talked about this earlier. What should happen? Well, we assume that white would just white consolidate does this. his money. That's right. And basically, black white should have sente moves, right? Or, or black will have, if, if white doesn't respond here again, black will have sente moves, sorry. So white says, you know, not a problem, I'm gonna play here and save this. But now black gets a bunch of sente moves, right? Because now, yeah. here's this pure sente end game, right? Can white do this? No. Uh, <laughs> What's the problem with this move? Uh, black goes right above it. And then Tari. White captures, and then it's a snap. Oh, sorry, it captures the other one. Either way. Uh, either way. way. Yeah. He captures this one, black gets to sort of link up. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, we had 20 points there, right? Right, right. just kills that. Oh, it kills it, yeah, yeah, we, that doesn't work. That's a snap yeah. back, sorry. Yeah. So, like, uh... So, can white play this? No. Right. He played it. Yeah. He wants to fight a color. He wants to fight a co because at this point Li Chang Ho is still losing. He knows he's losing. <laughs> he's really, really good at counting. He's really, really strong at endgame, and he knows he's behind. Mm. And he also knows that he actually has more co threats. <laughs> he does because so he so normally if you don't want to fight a co you have to pull back here, right? And then black this would be normal, mm -hmm. right? We would just play something like this over here, one of these, but right? But we lose the, all these extra points. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he was to cash in some gold threats for extra points. This, this, is, this, is, this for me is like the move I can never play in my game, right? So when you say he's well, losing, you know, he's, he's, losing. he's losing by like, like two or three points? Exactly. Okay. He's losing by like two or three points. Why isn't, well, white playing at like 9-12, right between those black groups? Right here? Right there. That which? I uh, might be just... Is this anything? I would totally play there. But now, once black gets this stone, do, wasn't, doesn't white have to come back and fix over here? Oh, okay. Yeah, I see that now. Yeah. I don't think it's that useful. No, uh, that makes sense. But white will do... Don't worry, don't worry, Gideon. White will do things there. Uh, what's the shape? Missing that one. So White plays this move. Oh, I gotta go forward a little bit. Uh, there we go. And uh, Black's like, okay, let's co. And again, Black's in BOYOMI. That's really important, right? Because Black doesn't have time to count out all these co-threats. 
What was the time control? A long time. So this is a championship type yeah. match? This is, this is like game five of, a, of an international championship. So we start the co. It's not going to be a long co, guys. Black makes a thread over here. Yeah, white responds. Black takes. White now plays here. Right? The other reason why we don't want to poke that is that's all, this is all just like pure co-threat territory right in here, right? With all these cuts. Oh, also, I can There could, there could oh, be, oh, there could be a capturing race here, too, later. Right. Well, wouldn't Black be quite happy picking up all those quartz stones? Black? Black, Black is, these are no, dead. Not at the bottom. Uh, here? Yeah, oh, yeah, if Black picks those up. Not for that, though. And White doesn't get compensation, the not game, the game over. That would be too much. Well, if, yeah, if, if yeah. White brings us back to life, yeah. this whole thing is going to die. Right, right. Right, this whole Black group. Yeah is resting on the life of this one, or the death, the resting on the death. No, 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 that's not true. Uh, black plays here. Look, if black cuts through, all these are gonna die. Yeah. Okay. Black would be more than happy to pull those off. No. Can't do it. Oops, oops, sorry, actually, actually, white doesn't play that. White doesn't play that. White takes the co. Wow. Yeah. Now white, now black does get all of them. And then white gets Aha! this. So this whole giant death happened because white wouldn't give up one extra point there. Well, a couple extra points. Right, but that's But here's the thing. This is all going to be sente for, this is all like pure sente for white because black actually has to be very careful about the stick group again. Uh -huh. Because they were taking that crowd storm the there. And now white knows white wants to push this way. Right before, there was we don't we don't want to do anything over here because we might want to use it this way. Yep. But now we're going to push through this way, and black just extends. Black is just look, looking for end game. Or they're both looking for end game, I should say. But white's looking for trying to make up the last few so points. White won the code. Sorry. So white plays here, which is again just good Aji. Because now there is more threats, and Black will have to come back and fill these in yeah. at some point. Another sente move. move this is also a sente move here, because uh, we can actually basically gut all the eyes under here. So Black responds and push. Block, pop out the eye. Black comes back. White captures. White pushes again. Oh, sorry, sorry, wrong color, wrong color. Black, black stops the connection. And remember this group over here that we captured? One, two, right. three, maybe, maybe, maybe six points? Right. Somewhere between, somewhere between four and seven points. Right, but the reason. I'm trying to remember when White took that, that stone on the second line. This one? The one above the second line. Second line. What? When White took that one? This stone here. Yeah, that was oh, the second yeah. before. That was. He was determined still... to fight that cow at that point. That's the whole basis that he could make really threat. Um, the, well, 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 Black threw a stone in here as a co threat, and White captured to make sure that there was no more threats, or at least no more good threats against this group. This, this, the. Right. Oh, so that was there. That was yeah, that was already there. So White, White had already quashed yeah, this stone. That was there. Okay, so that wasn't. Okay, not quite as. All right, and after this move, remember this move? Sort of like the last supposedly big endgame sign, even though all this other stuff happened. White gets the point. All right, so after this, uh, there's still some pretty cool Tasuji and, you know, shape moves and things that, you know, are probably worth looking at. On your own time. It's look at how big that blacks. But I'm just scrolling for to make sure I don't miss anything really cool. So black cut. How many points? Do you have? You got quite a few. From here, you mean? Yeah. Well, yeah. except except white white can never really count on these being alive, right? Black could have always killed these off. Yeah, but the, the rest of it. But these this this was big. Yeah. So really, we're looking at these you know these these uh, about 
11 points became black. But if we compare that, <clears throat> if white was pushed back to here, right, white got an addi additionally an extra one, two, three, four, uh, five, six points for white, and at the same time reduced black an additional one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, depending on what, what else we got, maybe nine. Yeah. So, I mean, in the end, this was actually slightly bigger than this, believe it or not. So, so because of all the extra sun tables. And I'm pressing up the big moves in the end. And so, the, 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 the prize. The, the, the big, right, right, the final, the sort of like the final gote move, or the final gote side. Right. So, White ends up winning, in true Li Chang Ho fashion, his first major international tournament by a point and a half in the final game of the championship. Wow. And so, I've got to say some things about this. Because, you know, like, Li Chang Ho's, at least his, his stone Buddha style, right, he changes it in the early 2000s. He has to become more active because people are just becoming really aggressive players, right? Mm -hmm. I really hate this style. This stone? <laughs> yeah, like, like, Li Chang Ho's early style, like, I, I, you know, it's very simple. Like, it's, I think they're good games for Q players to review, mm -hmm. but I hate it. Because... You, you, you want to get there and kill some. I, it's, it's not so much I, I, want, I want to go in there and kill things. I want to just have, like, big swaths of color and... <laughs> You know, I, just, I just want to paint with a very big brush. And Li Chang Ho is not interested in painting with a big brush. He's really interested in painting these very, very detailed Go games where they come down to these little tiny little Tsujis everywhere on the board. Mm -hmm. And while that's awesome, and I certainly respect it, I know I can't play Go that way. <laughs> no. But, man, if you can, you become number one in the world. So, you can't knock it either. <laughs> So, well, you know, what do you guys think? It, it totally looks like Black should have won that one. <laughs> well, that's, that's the thing. Every one of his opponents, right, in this 90s period, they come away from their board with their heads scratching themselves, and they're like, uh... What happened? Yeah, like, I got everything I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> like, my opponent responded passively to everything I did, and I lost by a point. Well, I get games where I feel like I've been fighting well and, and I've not lost any big groups, and I've been pretty satisfied that I pushed out and sort of gotten kind of what I want, and then in the end, I'm like... Where's my points? points? Yeah, I have no points. points short. <laughs> it's not even the case for his opponents. I mean, it, and there's even a theory where, where like, like, there's some people, some, some strong players who think, you know, Lee Chang-ho actually changed the style of Go that was being played into the year 2000s because... <laughs> People wanted to beat Li Chang Ho, and they couldn't do it with these very territorial, very calculated kind of games. They needed to play uh, these these games that essentially throw the entire board into chaos, right? And if you can throw the entire board into chaos, yeah, like being able to read complicated shapes and sequences is really important. But the ability to count really accurately and be able to play all this little tiny stuff, you know, if you're going to lose the game or win the game by 100 points, that stuff doesn't matter, yeah. right? So. Get, the lesson is get really good at fighting, you know, build lots of influence, and you know, then you know, play that kind of game. Um, and there's famously one, one uh, opponent, uh, I, I think her name is uh, Rui Nawe. I'm actually, she's a very, you know, Nindon pro that, um, I don't know how to pronounce her name actually, but we're going to say Rui Nawe, who is, who is sort of, she, you know, she's like super aggressive, like that was her style. And she was the first pro to really consistently beat Li Chang Ho during sort of the height of his success. And basically, she did it just through pure fighting. And I, I don't want my games to be pure fighting. I'm not saying I'm advocating for like pure fighting go. Like, like I, think, I think I play very reasonable go in my own style, right? I want to play the best move I can. But you know, I also like I like influence a lot. I like Moyos. I like I like these large scale attacks running around the board and having you know a more a more maybe not complex game so much. I guess that's probably the right word. I probably like having a more complex game on the macro scale rather than the micro scale. Because that's what I can understand. That's my limitation. And even then, on the macro scale, it's fun. I'm not saying I'm, I'm really that good at it. I'm just saying it's fun for me. I still screw it up all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure which is actually more complicated. Is this style or like the macro fighting style? Or this one? Well, it depends. I'm not sure. It depends on just how you think, how you think about the game. I'm wondering how it is that it was actually I mean, of course, you're forced to fight if your opponent insists on fighting. But you can't say that it can't be said that your style has changed. So, 
so this is where the I mean, it should be to your advantage. Well, let's, let's, put it this way. Let's, let's put it this way. The pros that became successful in the starting the early to mid 2000s yeah. were successful because they were really strong fighters. Yeah. Right? And, and like people like Lee Sedol were tanukiing all over the place, right? Leaving weak groups everywhere and saying, let's just have weak group party. And these, these weak groups will just have a giant orgy and everything will be chaos and we'll play that kind of game. And, you know, still really, I mean, he's a really adept player at reading, of course. We can read out. Well, you know, maybe that's the way to play. We don't, that's the thing about Go. We don't know. We don't know what the right answer is. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm asking a really stupid question here, but... There are no stupid questions, only stupid people. That's true. <laughs> is, is white... Alive at the bottom there, in the middle. Uh, this one. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we, yeah. We, we, but why can this capture here? Anytime. 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 Yeah. How do you want to kill white? What if black? Can yeah, sure. You do it kind of like this. Well, actually, I said the one if black goes there, there first. Yeah. Then white captures. Okay, and then black goes. Ha ha. Going. Oh, this doesn't work. Oh yeah. Oh, I see. There, there is a liberty problem here. And then, yeah, yeah. what does white do after that? Well, it would have to fill. <laughs> right. And then... But here, probably a better move. Here, let's go back a second. <laughs> so, when black plays there... Fills. So then, at this uh, point... Still right. What if we just play there? Then black goes here. Yeah, black can capture black. Sure. So it's this. Yeah, white doesn't connect now. No. Nope. Plays, plays there. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see it. And black takes this... Takes back. There's a point. There's a there's an extra point there for black. Okay, but it's well, it's not enough to turn it though, because white lot, or white won by one and a half, didn't it? Yeah, and, and eventually white actually fills this anyway before black has a chance. Okay, I was just curious. So. Hmm. So yeah, that's Li Chang Ho. At least his early, early style, the Stone Buddha style. When was this game played? This was 1992. And I read through I read through two of the other games that he played in this tournament, and uh, I mean, like he plays bad openings. <laughs> I mean, there's one. Let me see if I can recall it from memory. Actually, uh, there's one where I we like like today we, we we would just go like that's a bad opening. And I think the game I think uh, Ring Kaio plays here, and then Shango plays another one. And Kaiho plays here. And the uh, Chang Ho plays here. They play out this Joseki. And Li Chang Ho plays here. Which, of course, Rin Kaiho just plays here immediately. And now makes his group look stupid. I think he comes back and plays here. And uh, Rinkayo comes over here. Mm. And so this is actually a good opening for white. Mm. Because what is this group doing? And if it does do anything, it's actually just going to help white build over here. So I mean, I'm looking at this game and I'm just going, wow, black's already behind. <laughs> like, took, it took them eight moves. He mm. opens on the start points a lot. Uh, yeah, he likes he likes star point openings at least during this time period. Later on, later on, I mean, again, you're happy with black? This is. That's what you want, Gideon. That's right. Uh, no, I believe Chang loses this one. He loses this one. So what you said? Hmm. Oh, Lee Chang Ho loses this game. Oh, he does. Okay. Yeah, but this this is not this is not a good formation for Black in this case. Dan says it's okay. Anyway, the game's not over. Okay, the game's not over. I don't worry about. But like in, in in this case, like this is the type of shape we want to make when Black has a stone over here, right? Like this this is what we want to do today. Today we would never play this, right? Do you guys know the Joseki in this case? What would happen here? Like if this was the board. And white attached here. Do you guys know sort of like the the variation that we would normally play here? No. Oh, here, learn something. All right, here you go. We do play this. 
But we don't want to get caught in this trap over here where we basically either build high and get undercut or build low and get cramped. So we do have to play over here now. And we ask white first, what do, you, what, do you, what do you really want? And once you tell me what you want, then I'll know how to build. And if white responds here, we play this way. And I go that way. And that way we have a little bit better balance, right? There isn't an obvious move for white to, to right? there is no checking extension for white here. There's essentially, white can either fight or leave us the hell alone. So it has a little bit better of a, of a feeling. Mm -hmm. So, but you know, in 1992, they weren't playing this, right? And Li Chang Ho, he's not gonna be the guy that really develops this either, right? He's a, he, at least at that time, he doesn't really care about the opening. It doesn't be developed by other pros. That's all I'm saying. Okay, good job. We made it.